Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art, and today we're going to be creating a Margaret Preston inspired collage. So here's a little bit of an example of what we'll be creating. So as you can see, it's just a really simple paper collage with some drawings made from a broad marker. And if you know Margaret Preston's work, I've got a little bit of an example here. She created a lot of lino prints and she had flowers as her inspiration. So what we're trying to do is create that aesthetic from printmaking in a drawing. So Preston was an Australian artist and she created a lot of her works in the early 1900s as well as the mid 1900s. So using her as our source of inspiration, we're going to create our own little flower collage. So the materials that you'll be using are very simple, just some different colored papers. I'm going to be using A3 papers, but you can use A4 or even go larger if you do have access to those materials. We'll also be using a broad black marker, and we've just got a gray lead pencil, an eraser, scissors, and a glue stick. So to begin, I'm going to start by creating our little flower arrangement here. So what I'm going to do is just fold the paper into a few different sections. And this is really just for time's sake because what I'm going to do is draw my flower shape onto this paper and then cut it out. So instead of having to do one flower one by one, by doing this method, I can make several flowers at once. So the shape that I'm creating is just very, very simple. So you might just wanna do four petals, three petals for your flower, but just some rounded shapes that are easy to cut out. Now, depending on how many times you fold your paper, you might find it's very thick, so you might wanna use heavier duty scissors, or if you're fine with cutting through it with just some normal scissors, then you can do that as well. So now that I've cut out my flower shapes, so you can see I've got several there and there's a few more in here as well, but we shouldn't need to use all of those. I'm going to cut out the flowers in a different color and just make the shape a little bit smaller so we can create two layers. Now we've got our second little flower arrangement and if you've got some rough edges then you can fix those up just by cutting around them with the scissors. But what we're going to do next is to get that aesthetic of a print or a lino print is I'm going to use my broad marker and trace around these flower shapes so we get those really nice thick black lines. Now you might want to have another piece of paper just underneath you so you don't get any black marker on the table. So if you look at Preston's work, a lot of her flowers have small details in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just hand draw some of those details in.
So now the next part, we've got our larger flowers and our smaller flowers and they're outlined in black. What I'm going to do is fold some of these little petal shapes and this will give us a little bit of a 3D effect in our work, which you wouldn't get with a lino print, but because we want to make this a little bit more interesting and add more of those art elements, just give those a little fold and I'm going to stick a little bit of glue into the center and paste those down to create some little 3D flowers that we'll use for our collage. So I've got a few little flowers completed, so you can choose to do a few more, or you can wait and see how your collage comes together before you decide to make more flowers. But the next step is to make some of the leaves. So the flowers are going to be in the foreground and the leaves are going to be in the middle ground, so the next layer behind those flowers. So very similar to how we created those flowers, I'm going to fold my paper and then draw a leaf shape over the paper and then cut it out to create several leaves at once. I'm going to do that with two separate colours, two greens. So when you're drawing out your leaf shapes, you might want to choose some different styles. You might want to actually look at certain plants, whether you're looking at native Australian plants or even specific plants that you might be looking at in other classes, like a science class. You could try and do cross-curricular lessons with that, but otherwise you can do several different shapes and experiment with those shapes and forms of the leaves. So now once you've finished off drawing those details in your leaves, the next step in our collage is to create our little bowl or our vase that our flowers are going to sit in. So you can look at some of Preston's work to get inspiration from that. You could even look at a bowl at your own house. But what I'm going to do is just draw out my vase shape and then add in some shapes and patterns to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to do that in pencil first. So if I make any mistakes, I can rub it out and then go over it in my black marker. Now that you have all your collage pieces completed, what I'm going to do now is choose a background colour. So our background is just going to be a flat plain colour. A lot of Preston's prints would just be sitting on a flat coloured background. So we're going to do something similar to that. So we've got our bars here and what you might want to do is just place some of your pieces on the vase shape and just get an idea of where everything's going to sit and how you want your composition to look. But otherwise you can just stick things down as you're going and just make sure that you've got that difference between the background, the foreground and the middle ground. So our background is that plain sheet of paper. Our middle ground is just this pot as well as some of these leaves. And then our foreground is gonna be our 3D little flowers. So what I'm going to do is just arrange my composition to figure out where I want everything to sit. So I've got my arrangement on my piece of paper. So I think that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is just shift 
these leaves and the vase off of my piece of paper and then glue them down. So if you've got an arrangement that you really like, what you might wanna do is take a photo before you move everything off so you know where to put everything back in the exact same place. So here we have our finished collage. Now if you want to play a little bit more with composition, you could definitely have more leaves coming out of the sides of the page. That really adds to that 3D element. But we've got quite a nice little picture here that's really simple to create and that emulates that printmaking style. So even if you weren't teaching printmaking in the class as a practical lesson, you can still teach about printmaking artists with a technique like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.